Hi guys, I'm Ayush and you're watching my channel Dibli Dobli. Continuing with my analysis of the strength of the IPL squads for 2020, today I'm going to talk about opening batsmen. Now opening as they say is one of the blessed positions in T20s. You get to face the most number of balls and hence have a huge impact in the game. But that also means big pressure. Let's see where each team stands in terms of their opening batting strength coming into IPL 2020. As the weakest opening combination for IPL 2020, I have a bit of a surprise. Royal Challengers Bangalore. Now I rate them because one of their batting option is Aaron Finch. Someone who's a stalwart in international cricket but has struggled against quality spin in IPL. Parthiv Patel, who's the other option, averages one man of the match in 20 matches in IPL, which is just not good enough as an opener. Another option is Josh Philip, who is untested against quality spin again, and Devdutt Padikal, who has been doing really well in the domestic, but hasn't played a single IPL match. And with Josh Philip and Parthiv Patel, I doubt Devdutt would get a match as an opener. At number seven, I'll keep Kolkata Knight Riders. Now KKR has a super talented Shubman Gill as one of the openers but he's also relatively new in the sense of IPL experience. Sunil Narayan is a hit or a miss kind of an opener and we saw that by the end of last year he was shifted back to a number seven position. The other option is Rahul Tripathi who after a stellar season with Pune has tapered. Tom Banton is a brilliant prospect, but my worry is that with Morgan, Russell, Narayan and Cummins' place pretty much done in the 11, Banton might not get enough games. At number 6, I'll keep the experienced pair of Chennai Super Kings, Watson and Fab Plessy. Now, Watson is a legend in IPL history, but now he's 38 years old and hasn't been playing a lot of competitive cricket. Fab Plessy had a mediocre Zansi Super League in South Africa and had just 150 plus score. The other two options of Chennai don't inspire a lot of confidence too. Raidu hasn't been playing a lot of domestic cricket and Vijay is clearly past his prime. At number 5, I'm keeping Rajasthan Royals. Now one of their openers is sorted. Joss Butler, experienced, explosive, tremendous for them in the last two IPLs. But the other is a bit of a concern. If that is Sanju Samson, I won't hesitate in keeping RR in the top three of IPL opening combinations. But I sense for better team combination, for better balance, they might open with Robin Uthappa, who's surely past his prime, or Yashasvi Jaiswal, who's 17 years old and will be inexperienced coming into this IPL. Kings 11 Punjab at number four. KL Rahul has been tremendous as their prime opener for the past two years and Chris Gale may be past his prime but then you can never rule out the universe boss. I still sense they would open with KL Rahul and Mayank Agarwal at least at the beginning of the IPL and I feel Mayank Agarwal after having a tremendous 2019 would be high in confidence and should deliver for them as an opener. At number three I'll keep Delhi Capitals. Shikhar Dhawan has been their pillar of strength as an opener since last year and the other option can be either the dashing Prithvi Shaw who has been tremendous in Sayyad Mushtaq Trophy or a more stable option of Ajinkya Rahane. I suspect and I believe they should start with Prithvi Shaw at least in the first match if he's 100% fit. Even if you look besides these three, they have a couple of exciting foreigner opener options if they would like to explore that. Jason Roy, even Marcus Toynis, or for that matter, Alex Carey can open and give that explosive start that Delhi would need. At number two, I'll keep Mumbai Indians. Mumbai Indians have Rohit Sharma, who had the best 2019 that an opening batsman could have. But if you look at his last two IPLs, he has been below his own standards. And I expect that IPL 2020 could be Rohit's year. And the other two options that they have are also tremendous. They have Quentin D. Cock, who was very crucial in their IPL winning campaign last year. And their new recruit, Chris Lynn, who was a steal, I would say, at the price that they bought. 
and as the best opening batting options for IPL 2020, I would name Sunrisers Hyderabad. They have David Warner who's won three out of the past five orange caps in IPL and Johnny Besto who had a stellar IPL 2019 stint. Kane Williamson who might not even make the first 11 won the orange cap in IPL 2018. So they may have problems in the middle order but their opening combination is surely the best in IPL. So that was my list. My ranking of the teams of IPL 2020 on the base of their opening batting combination strength. If you agree or disagree with any of my teams in this list, please let me know in the comment section below. And for more such content around the IPL, please follow my channel. Thanks a lot.